hey guys they won't know so today i'll be showing you how to make this yummy asum for event or for homemade so let's run my intro so first of all i'll be taking you to the market when i got my meat from the meat sellers and we'll be going home right now so guys here is our goat's meat and um, i'll be washing this meat one after the other remember that if you want to watch your meat you should always pour salt on it so pour salt so i'll be washing this meat one after the other in order to remove any deaths that will be on it so guys here are the ingredients that we'll be using to make our asum so we have um curry powder here we have thyme we have seasoning cubes we have salt so this is the pepper that i'm going to use i have a mixture of pepper and green pepper here so this is um another green pepper and onions and this is our goat's meat so we'll be spicing this right now and we'll be boiling it so we'll be spicing our meat right now i've already washed my hands so i'll be adding a little bit of onions sorry sorry and I'll be adding our seasoning cubes. And we'll be adding our salt. So here is our salt. And I'll be using all of this. So I'll be turning this right now. Normally, <clears throat> You can marinate maybe overnight or for some hours but this is an impromptu order so i need to start making everything immediately so far you spice well so you turn don't add any water because the meat already has water so we'll be allowing the spices to simmer inside before we can add our water so here is it and i'll be putting it on fire immediately So this has simmered and it's brought out water without me adding water to it so you still have to still turn and still allow it to simmer before you can add your water so so here is our meat and it still brought out more water you can see it i haven't added water in this i didn't add water because goat meat brings out water when you're cooking it so but i want to add a spy a twist to this so this is the water that i used in blending my pepper so i want to add a little bit of it this one don't pass a little so that is it and i will still cover it to simmer at this point you just check for the taste to know if it has enough seasoning that you need you can adjust your your spices and still cook it for it to get soft so this has been cooking for 20 to 30 minutes and for me it's already soft for me to go to the next one so right now i'll be putting all this to into a sieve for it to remove the excess water in it and i'll be frying it for some time before i can start to do the process so here is it you have to um cut a little bit of the meat to check if it's soft to your taste before you can remove it so while i'm removing the meat this is my frying pan so i'll be pouring in some oil for it to be getting hot while i remove my meat for it to simmer for some time i didn't say simmer for it to remove the excess water before i can continue the next process so we are not doing a deep fry it's just a little bit fry that we are doing so while this is getting hot i'll be removing our meat so i'll be removing our meat to put in a sieve for it to remove the excess water before i can fry it because if there is water on the meat it will be doing the oil pack, pack, tch, 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 and from there it will start splashing so here is it the water of the meat you can keep it to use for your jello fries or any other thing that you want to cook so i'll be removing this so here is my sieve for your oil to smell nice and the meat to smell nice i always add bell leaves to my oil and also a little bit of onions try this you will see 
it gives it a little as in a different scent altogether so right now our oil is hot and i'll be reducing the fire before i add our meat so that it doesn't splash everywhere so i'll be adding our meat right now So here is our meat. Remember, we are not frying for so long. So I'll be removing this now and I'll be putting it in a sieve to still bring out oil. Lotana, move away. To still bring out oil. So here is our sieve. So here is our second batch. I will be removing them right now. So please remember not to um, rub um, a steel spoon on your non-stick pan. If not, it's going to be scratching it. Even if you want to use a steel spoon, make sure you don't go deep. Just take it up so that it doesn't go deep and scratch your pan. So I'll be removing this. Remember, I'm not deep frying this. I am not deep frying. So I'll be adding it here. Some don't actually fry their asium. They will just cook and do the pepper straight. So for me, I just want to fry it a little bit. So it doesn't have this ndombo taste. <laughs> so right now we have finished frying and now it's time to get to the main deal. So first of all, I have this... Um, ginger and garlic paste that i shredded so first of all i'll be adding that and you just have to turn it i reduce the oil actually so i'll be adding our onions So you turn and right now I'll be adding our pepper. So we just have to turn this. So if you still need more oil, you just have to add more oil. So check the quantity of the goat meat that you are doing assume before you know the amount of pepper to add. So because I have a very large quantity, so I'll be adding more pepper. So, so here is our pepper. So I'll be adding our seasoning cubes right now. And I'll be adding a little bit of curry powder and I will turn so at this process at this point I'll be adding our meat so adjust seasoning adjust your ingredients or your spices very well so I'll be adding our meat right now so I've added our meat right now and I'll be turning this so after turning that I will show you so here is our meat after I finish turning it so right now I'll be adding our green pepper for the toppings so here is it so I'll be pouring this in the rubber that we used to deliver it. So. So here is a uh, asun 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 ah whichever one. Here is our asun. So it's about to be delivered right now. So here is it. So here is us, all wrapped up. So this is me, Gomzi Kitchen, and we are done and dusted.